Trucks. I'm here today with our 2016 BMW M3. It is the F80 generation. Today I'm going to show you how to install our mud flaps and or our spats. They install the same. Um, one is a little bit larger than the other. But yeah, we'll go ahead, get this on the lift, get the wheels off, and I'll show you how to do the install. Before we head over to the car, I'm going to show you here on the table what you're going to get in your kit and kind of the differences between our mud flap and our spat sizes and also just kind of give a breakdown of what hardware is going to come in your kit. All right, so here's kind of the overview. These will be our mud flap size, and as you can see, they are just a little bit longer, a little bit more offset, and they don't have the rounded corner. These are our more minimalistic splash guard, and the install for both of them is exactly the same. It just depends on the size that you want and the amount of protection that you're going for. With your rear set, you're going to get four three inch screws we just have a half set right here you're going to get four washers per side and then you're going to get a larger 1.75 inch spacer and a smaller inch and three eighths spacer for the front you're going to get three number 10 screws three of our red nylon clips and three small washers All right, now we've got the car up on the lift. Um, to do this, you don't have to take the wheels off, but it just makes it easier for us to show you. Um, or you can just turn the wheel to gain access if you're on the ground. But what you're gonna wanna do is remove the three OEM rivets right here in the fender liner. And to do so, you can either use like a two millimeter punch and just lightly tap the cores out and then you can remove those. So I'll show you what we're going to use. We're just gonna use you know, kind of gorilla style, a screwdriver with a small Allen or Torx bit, just small enough to get right in there. And then we'll just line it up right with the center. Hold it in place. Push the center out. Just a nice firm tap. There we go. With those cores punched out, we'll just go ahead and throw a flathead bit into our screwdriver. We'll go ahead and just pop these out. All right, now to gain access to the mounting holes, we'll go ahead, lift this out of the way, and then we'll take our red clips and make the extruded side so that it's on the back side and just align those with the holes here. Go ahead, bring over the liner and you can just kind of slide it down over the hole and put it in place. And then we can just let the liner relax back into its natural position. We'll go ahead, grab the flap our washers and screws and I'll show you how to mount it up. So we're going to proceed with mounting the mud flap on this vehicle. We'll go ahead and just kind of press that tab in a little bit. Slide it in and over the fender's edge at the bottom here. And then we'll go ahead and line up our three holes. We'll take our number 10 screw and washer Put it in, just get these hands started right now. The holes in the flap are slotted to allow about a quarter inch of adjustment. So you can, if you want them a little more aggressive, you can pull them all the way out. If you want them a little more sleek, you can just push them all the way in. And we'll just go ahead, get these to the position that we want them at. And then snug them down, tighten all three screws, and then you can go ahead and move, move on to the rear. Now that we're 
at the rear of the vehicle, I'll go ahead and show you what screws to remove. You'll need an 8 millimeter on a wrench, and then we'll go ahead and undo these two screws right here in the fender liner. Get those out of our way. Alright, we'll begin the install by putting one of the three inch screws through a washer. We'll then put it through the lower hole in the flap, followed by another washer, and then the inch and three quarter spacer. Now we'll take this and we'll mount that. We'll hand start it into the lower hole, and then we'll move our way up to the top hole. Go ahead, get it started by hand. Grab your other hardware, which will be another three inch screw. Put it through a washer, and then we'll also Put it through the flap, put the washer on the back side, and use the inch and three eighths spacer for the top hole. And that will line up perfectly with the second hole at the top. We'll go ahead, get those started, grab our screwdriver, we'll go ahead and begin tightening those. them just snug enough that you can still move the flap around and then you can adjust it in and in or out just to your liking and then once you get it to right where you want it go ahead and secure these fully down and then repeat that on the other side and that's the rear for you.